Hello everybody, Arashi YT here, and welcome to the Pokemon Emerald Trash Lock. Now if you guys who don't know what a Trash Lock is, this is a ROM hack made by Pokemon Challengers, a YouTuber and Twitch streamer that does a lot of Nuzlocks. And he created this ROM hack where you can only use Pokemon that are considered trash, hence the name Trash Lock. So... I thought, because I'm going to put Pokemon Radical Red on a hold, why not do a Nuzlocke where we use Pokemon that you don't see that very often or are considered bad? Now I will leave a link to the video where Pokemon Challenges go m into much more detail about this ROM hack and also shows how he played that ROM hack. And I will also make sure that I will put a link to the forums where he put the download link to this ROM hack. So if you want to play this for yourself, you can actually do that. Now, before we're actually going to start this Nuzlocke, I am going to, you know, tell about the rules that I'm going to use. Because I know Pokemon Challengers love to use more of the hardcore rules. So, no items in battle, uh, battle style on set, and not overleveling. I'm going to just do this in a normal Nuzlocke way, because I'm not the best Les player, I'm not the best Nuzlocker. So, we are going to just use the normal Nuzlocke rules that you see everywhere on YouTube. I am going to try to not overlevel and I am going to try not to use items in battles and every X attack, X event, etc. items I find I will toss away and we're not going to use those. I will also make these episodes an hour long because even though I'm not a live streamer I do want to give you guys the feeling as you are watching a live stream. So these episodes will be an hour long per episode and it also gives me the opportunity to just invest myself more into this Nuzlocke so you guys um, have some content and I can actually invest more time uh, recording each and every episode. It does mean that uh, the episodes will be uploaded like a few days apart from each other instead of like uh, every two or three days but that's the, something I just have to deal with. So I did do a test run to see if the game was patched okay. I can totally say that the game has been patched correctly so there's no issues. And we're just going to start and click new game and see how much I feel. Because again, I'm not the best Nuzlocker. And since this is a Nuzlocke and I also want to do this as fast as possible that I can. We're not going to do any voices or, you know focus too much on the story because this is generation 3 if you don't know how generation 3 goes by this point you know what are you doing but uh hi sorry to keep you waiting okay welcome to the ah here you go welcome to the emerald trash lock edition the goal of this hack is to remove all good pokemon so only stuff like this is left uh by the way all the static pokemon so legendaries and like the reggies and such are all replaced by unknown so because this is a nuzlocke we might be having a lot of unknowns at the end of this run. <laughs> uh, feel free to play any way you like it, but it is optimized for Nuzlocking, which we are going to do. Make sure to check the documentation for further info if you'd like to know more about the creator uh, of this hack. You can follow his stream at twitch.tv slash Pokemon Challenges. You can also join the Discord to talk with other people playing this hack, uh, as you can see there. I hope you have a lot of fun with this game, and you are... There we go. So now we can actually do this. Uh, I'm a boy. I'm a pretty, pretty boy. And my name is Gerard, and yeah, I, I actually uh, started watching Pokemon Challenges video like a month ago, and his content is really refreshing, especially because he does Nuzlocke in a different way. He tries to make it a lot harder for himself, and watching some of his videos and Nuzlocke that he did, I can totally stand behind that, so... That's why in the future I do want to implement some harder rules for me and try to get a challenge out of it instead of doing the same old Nuzlocke or randomized Nuzlocke rules. So, I'm Gerard who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. Yeah. Alright. So, again, I did. And I will try to not use speed up button that much. Only for this point. I mean, again, you've seen Generation 3 if you haven't. What have you done with your life? But, um... Yeah, I, I'm totally missed the point what I was gonna say right now, but... I'm, I'm very... Nervous, because, again, I did a test run of this, and... 
this can get really, really, really hard. So that's why I am not going to implement the hardcore rules for my run. But we'll see how far we can go. If we lose... I might just end the episode then there, and then the next episode we'll just reset and try again. I think that, yeah, that, that, that makes work. And then at the end, we can actually see how many attempts I actually did by beating this game on Nuzlocke. Um, it is... <laughs> ironically, it is actually close to this time that the clock was already set, because I am recording this in the morning of Christmas, so happy Christmas if you're watching this in January. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, but hey. <laughs> Uh, how do you like your new room? Ah, oh, it's great. Uh, Mom, can can I have some privacy? Okay, thank you. Alright, let's go to the PC. Because, again, these episodes will be an hour long. So, the more we can do in an episode, the better. Um, so, we're gonna just skip this. Because it's our dad that left us to be a gym leader and not taking care of his family. How good. Alright, so. Let's go to next door and meet May. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil for any for you guys who don't know what this ROM hack is. I'm not gonna spoil the starters just yet. You will see in a moment how difficult this can actually become. So uh, in my first test run I used uh, the water starter in this game but I might actually be using the grass one because I think the grass one is much better but I tried to use the water one because I want to give myself a little bit more of a challenge but he didn't go that well. I can basically say, like, I did a test run of this game, and in Rustboro, I lost. So, basically, I already lost a Nuzlocke once of this game, but I haven't recorded that, so... Because I, I, I just want to see if the uh, ROM hack was patched up nicely, and it did, so... Now we're going to see the starters, and... Again, for you guys who don't know what this ROM hack is all about, you're gonna be in for a treat. Alright, so! First we have Slugma. <laughs> then we have Goldeen, which I chose in the off-screen test run that I did earlier. And then we have Sunken. Now the thing with Goldeen... And... Uh, Pokemon Challenges did say it in his video. Goldeen doesn't learn a Water-type move. <laughs> After level 30 or something. <laughs> so, training Goldeen up in the beginning is going to be so tough. Now, Slugma... Is just... I love my cargo, but four times weakness? Oh boy! And I love Sunken and Sunflora. I really love Sunflora, by the way. But... <clears throat> I think Sunken is... The easiest mon to pick from this, these three here. So either I want to pick up a challenge and add Slugma. Or we're going to go for the easy route and use Sunken. The only problem with Sunken is... You need a Sunstone to evolve it. So you're going to have a Sunken for a very, very long time. I'm going to pick Slugma. I'm going to pick Slugma. We're going to go for a difficult route here. But I love Slugma. It's fine. It's fine. So there we go, female uh, Slugma, and we have Yawn and Smog. And Smog is not going to do that much, and we miss. So <laughs> if that's a um, indication of how this Nuzlocke is, okay, um, Slugma, can you please? There you go. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's put it asleep. So this is gonna take a while, but uh, oh yeah, and also. These episodes will not be edited. I will... Oh my god, what's what's the... I want to see what's the accuracy on Smog. Ah. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, okay, Slugma might be the hardest Pokemon to run this. Uh, let's, let's check our modest... If that modest nature... Hell yeah, if that's true, we're in for a treat then. Okay. So we just have to hope for a crit. Um, I think the smartest thing to do then... Um, because... I mean, most of the time when I do a Nuzlocke... Uh, I consider May not an uh, actual part of the run. 
Because most of the time when I do a Nuzlocke, the run doesn't start when you get Pokeballs. And I think that's a... Okay, this is actually better. I think that's a favorably rule for Poketubers so that they don't die in the first episode. Uh, but I'm gonna try not to die against me. So even though the run won't end, if we lose against Mei in the first rival battle, I'm gonna try my best to not lose. So we might actually have to grind up Slugma to like level 7, maybe. I think that's I think that's a good thing to start. So we might have to grind in the beginning of this Nuzlocke. But that's a okay. Okay, I'm gonna just skip this. Okay, we received the Slugma. Um, what are we gonna nickname Slugma? Uh, I'm gonna call it Tamina then. I'm gonna nickname my Pokemon after wrestlers. So let's do that. Uh, if you work at the Pokemon Game Experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will, I will, I will see May. I will see how May's doing. Uh, is my Pokemon up healed up? He is. Okay. Or she is, in this case. Alright, so... Yeah, what we need to do is now we need to grind. So... I'm gonna... I'm gonna see... Uh... How grinding goes. I mean, if I see a Wingle... Or a Wurmple, we can't do anything against a Wurmple. Oh my god. Actually, this is... And she's gonna have a Mudkip. Because... I, yeah, because the game doesn't give out the starters that we could choose from to the rival. No, she's actually gonna get one of the actual Hoenn starters. Um, I can't, I can't... I mean, I could yawn it. But Wurmple is not gonna give out that much experience. And I can then smog it. Please don't poison it. It can be poisoned because it's a poison type. Or is it just a bug type? Either way, we can just... Smog here and try to grind up a little bit because we need to grind up. We need to grind up. This is so bad. <laughs> Smog has a low accuracy so much. Oh my god. Yeah, this. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be great. Once we learn Amber, we're actually. I mean, the only thing with. Slugma is, we can't use it against Roxanne. Against those two Geodudes and Nosepass, that's be gonna be a no-go. That's absolutely gonna be a no-go. So, we need some heat for Roxanne's gym. Or otherwise, uh, we're in for a difficult run already. Because using Pokemon that aren't considered good... <laughs> you know, the first gym is already... A tough one. Um, so let's actually go to this route and see how we can grind. If we find a wingle. All right, six lagoon should be okay because oh, he's gonna it's gonna go again. All right, nice. Please poison it. Oh my god, look at this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so already Slugma. I think Slugma might be then the hardest Pokemon to pick then. Because, okay, the second gym is a fighting type gym, which also isn't that helpful against Slugma. Then the third one is an electric type gym, doesn't help out as much as well. Four gym is Flannery. Also not very helpful. Yeah, Slugma might be... Slugma might be the worst starter to pick in this Nuzlocke. Alright, you know what? That's okay. If I'm gonna use, like, potions and, like, other stuff that isn't required in a hard lock. Okay, I need to... I need to get away and we need to heal up again. But, um, yeah, this is gonna be... Oh my god, please hit that like button for this series. Because there's going to be something new. It's going to be a different format. I mean, I've done Nuzlocke in the past, but, like, our episodes 
each and every time and a nuzzle like that like this where it isn't randomized this is how the game is intended to be this trash lock it's it's going to be a hell of a ride all right so we need to I actually I could search up when slugma learns amber all right Puchena. Uh we just need we just need to smock it hope we connect poison it there we go Come on, just poison it. We just need to poison it. Alright, at least we're doing a lot of damage. There you go. Okay, Slugma. We need this. We need this energy. Because, again, Slugma is modest, right? Yeah, so up special attack, lower, uh, lowers attack. So look at that special attack. 14. That's... For Slugma, this early in the game, if we get Ember... That's actually pretty good. So, that's why we need to grind up here. So, I'm sorry if the first part of this episode is just me grinding. But, seeing the situation that we have here with Slugma, we need some levels. I can actually see what Slugma's moveset is in Gen 3. So, okay Google. Okay, Google. Oh, you're not gonna listen to me? Okay, Google. Alright, it's not gonna listen to me then. Fine, I will just switch it up by hand. And then Slugma... You know what, I'm gonna do that very quickly. Slugma... Gen 3... Learn set. There we go. Okay, so... It learns Amber by level 8. Oh boy. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and grind it to level 8. So I guess we'll just go back to the Pokemon Center and battle May. If we lose... We lose against May. Again, it won't be the end of my Nuzlocke. Because I'm using the regular Nuzlocke rules. But... It's gonna suck because I don't like losing. I wanna, you know, keep from fainting as much as possible. <laughs> so I think I think okay. I think we just have to go for Yon then, put the Matkip to sleep, and just smog. I mean, we are Mother's Nature. So, we actually do have a chance. I might just, no, I might just just smog right away and hope we can hit. Because maybe we can actually poison. There we go. Okay, that's actually good. Okay. And I think our Pokemon has, okay, our Pokemon doesn't have an Orange Berry. Uh, we do have a potion, so we might heal up if needed, which... Does sound a little bit cheaty, but... Again. This is for me a regular Nuzlocke, but hey! We're doing pretty fine. Okay, does 4 HP per hit on Tackle. That was a critical hit, so that is very helpful. So even if he crits us, it will leave us at 2 HP. So I think we'll just find Smog again. Yeah, okay, nice. There we go, okay. So I didn't have to heal up, and I didn't have to resort to dying and continuing the Nuzlocke. So hey! Nice, we did it. We did it. We did it. I got a lot more scared there than I thought it would be. Alright, let's go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and let's follow me back to her dad. So we can actually, actually start this Nuzlocke by getting Pokeballs and getting our first encounters. Now, when I did my test run first hand, I noticed that... If I use a full team of six, because you're going to get a lot of encounters in Generation 3. It means that the experience you will gain throughout uh, the first routes will be evenly spread out. Because you have to switch train, you have to uh, be like, okay, I need to train up this mon. I think it's safe to say that whatever Pokemon we get, I think we need to have a max team of four for the first gym. Because then the Pokemon that are in our team will actually get more experience by that. 
and be higher leveled. Instead of having like 6 Pokemon of level 8 and maybe 1 Pokemon of level 13. You will have maybe 4 Pokemon of level 10, 12, 11 if you train up your Pokemon well. And that is not considering grinding against wild Pokemon. This is all uh, battling against trainers and such. So we'll see. We'll see how we can do. It also depends on which Pokemon we can actually get. I know you can get Lotet, and Lotet is a good one to have in this first part of the game because it can actually do a massive work against Roxanne. Uh, speaking of massive work, we're gonna go to one of the best items starting from Generation 3, which is the running shoes. I would have not imagined a game like this without the running shoes. If, if Pokemon didn't uh, invent the running shoes, games of Pokemon would be hella slow. So I'm very happy that we got the running shoes here. But Route 101, and we can get our first encounter here. So our first encounter... It's going to be a Puchena. Now, Puchena is okay because if it has the runaway ability, it means that we can easily run away from wild Pokemon, which is very helpful in a, in, in certain situations. Uh, that was a crit. So normally it will do 3 HP. So we should be fine still. So I'm going to smock. He's going to tackle again. I'm gonna smock, we're gonna miss, oh, uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be something, but again, once we get Amber, okay, he woke up, tackles again, okay, I'm gonna smock one more time, and I think then we can actually throw the Pokeball, yeah, okay, now we definitely had, now we definitely can catch it, and the first Pokeball, oh, that's a potion, there we go, And there we go, we caught our first encounter, which is a Puchena. Again, not the best way to start this Nuzlocke, but if it has the runaway ability, I'm gonna call it Corbin, by the way. If it has the runaway ability, that is going to be very, very helpful. So, am I going to actually survive this? Not like this. Uh-oh. Okay, I can heal up my Corbin here, and then... We should make it. There we go. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Hell yeah, I want. Okay, excuse me, I have to... <laughs> so, I have a, like, a, uh, not a cold. I had a cold, but I'm still recovering from that, so my nose is a little bit snotty. <laughs> so, Corbin level 3, Runaway, Sassy Nature, which... It's not a bad nature for a Puchena, with only Tackle, but it's gonna get Howl at level 5, which is okay. But again, it's not the best way to start our Nuzlocke. So, Route 103, and we're gonna get... Well, that's dupes. That's dupes. So, we're just gonna encounter again. A Wingle. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go into my Corbin. Now, Wingle... Oh, and you're gonna growl me. Are you kidding me? Okay, w tackle. There's the water gun. I was expecting that. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at it. It's a level 2 Wingle. We should be fine. Yeah. So, Wingle was dead. Uh, we're gonna call it... Let's call it Sammy. After Sammy saying that's the first Pokemon that comes in mind. Or first wrestler in mind. So let's take a look at our Wingle here. Keen Eye prevents loss of accuracy. Quirky nature. Again, not the worst nature. I think that ups speed on the top of my head. So let's heal up. So as you can see, we're going to get a lot of encounters already in the beginning. So... Once we're in Petalburg, I think I have to pick mons that I want to use for the team. Now, Wingle is part water, but also part flying, so it's like a double-edged sword against Roxanne. So we're going to get an encounter in this route. And there's Lotad. So, this is an actual good encounter for us. Lotad is going to be 
Can we actually hit the smog, please? Lotad is going to... Come on, Tamina. Come on. There you go. Because Lotad, again, works very well in... Um, in Roxanne's gym. Sorry, I got a, I got spaced out for a moment there. <laughs> that sometimes happens. By the way, I'm also not PG, so if you don't like that... My apologies. But hey, we cut the low tat, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call him No Way after No Way Jose. Um, so No Way. I know he's not part of WWE in, at the moment, but hey. So let's take a look at No Way. Sassy nature. That's I think a bad nature for our low tat. So again, okay, we're gonna heal up in the Pokemon Center. And now we at least have a party of four. And what I wanna do is I do wanna train up my um my Wingle. Or not my Wingle, my Lotad. Because Lotad is going to be extremely important for this in the first part of this Nuzlocke. So we're gonna have to battle against all these trainers here. And that's gonna. Okay, so the first one is a Puchin of level 5. Okay, now... Okay, I have to switch out, so we're gonna go into Tamina here. He's gonna tackle, that's gonna do 3 HP, and can... I can just smock it. I mean, I, I could try to yawn it, but if, but if we get the poison on the smock... Like here, that's gonna help us much more than... Putting it asleep for a few turns and then smogging all the way. Because now it will do at least a few more damage. Okay. And, yeah. We can also miss. See, that's scary. That's scary. I can't believe, like, the first part of this game, the first routes in this game, because of the mons that we have, is already scary as it is. But it's okay. Again, if we get Ember on our Slugma... Things will get... You know what? No, I'm not gonna switch out. It it held two times. There we go. We can still take it. And even if we miss the smog, the potion will kill it off. So... See, and this is what I mean. Because we've switched train, the experience will be split. So that's why we need to have a party... Of maximum four people Pokemon, I think. Because otherwise you'll be you'll be so underleveled for the job. I'm gonna just use my potion here. So Yeah, I'm just gonna go and train against this guy then. I was trying like should I switch one of my Pokemons out of there? But I think against Wurmple we should be fine with low tat. So I'm just gonna astonish it. That it's three HP Oh, that's not gonna do that much. Hell no. Okay. Change of plans. Um, yeah, we're gonna just switch train Tamina and No Way. Because, oh, come on, this is going to be so frustrating. <laughs> it's also very slow at this point. Because if we miss each and every turn, that's just gonna take up so much time. And I do want to hope we can actually get to Rustboro City in this first episode within an hour, but we're all we're already almost 50% into this episode, so I think we might reach the hour mark in Petalburg Woods. And then in the next episode we'll probably have to grind up, go against Roxanne and hope we can actually do something. We just need Amber on Slugma and we're fine. We just need Amber on Slugma and we'll be fine. Because then we have then we have stab, we have something that hits instead of something that not hits. It's okay, it's Gucci. It's Gucci. No way is grew to level four. Tamina has grown to level seven. Another Wurmple. Um Okay, let's go back into Norway. And let's just astonish, see how much this does. Okay, that's a little bit better. 
that's a little bit better. So let's just try to keep astonishing it. We can't, unfortunately, flinch it now because we don't outspeed it. But hey, as long as he's string shutting me and we can get free hits off of it, we're fine. Another string shot, that's fine. Also, my speed up button isn't that fast as it is. But again, I will try to refrain from using the speed up button. But there we go! See, that's a lot of experience points already. Alright, so we have to go back though, we have to heal up. But yeah. <sighs> Alright. I really love this Nuzlocke variant though. Of, the, of like using mons that you don't see that very often. Because, again, it makes it interesting. It makes it a little bit more challenging. And I kind of like that. So, I'm not going to complain. We'll just have to make it work and do the best that we can. So, we have another low tat here. But we already caught a Pokemon in this route. So get out so we now have to battle against this youngster here we can use Orenberry and give them to our Pokemon because that's like free HP back um, I can't use Astonish on this Pokemon though so we have to go back into Tamina <laughs> I think next level Lotad learns Absorb so that's gonna help us out a lot and we also need one more level on a Slugma to have Amber. My god, that. Okay, now we have to yawn it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is. No, I have to stay in and smog it then. Because I can't. I can't split up the experience anymore. Okay, now is it sleep? So just keep on attacking. Please hit your moves. Was too much to ask. He wake up the first turn. I mean, if he just keeps me growling me, that's fine. There we go. We got the poison. Okay, now we don't have to worry anymore. My god. Why is the first route already an issue for us with Slugma? <laughs> uh, if I can manage to keep my cargo... Knock on wood. To the end of this run... I'm gonna be hella proud of mine. Okay, nice. Taylo, um, oh my god, I can't use Taylo. Okay, we have to go into Corbin then. Taylo level three. Okay, I just have to tackle it then. Peck, uh, oh my god, Peck did five. So this crits now. And we don't have any healing items anymore. Okay, I'm gonna tackle again. He's gonna growl. We got a crit. Oh my god, Corbin came comes into clutch. Corbin comes into clutch. There's another pack. And Corbin came in clutch here. Nice. Okay, Corbin. That was hella risky. That was hella risky. Because normally I would have switched out there. Because a crit could have killed us at that point. But. Like losing any of my other Pokemon at this point. Like Lotad or Slugma was no option. So let's heal up my Tamina here. And let's use. Let's give the other one to Tamina as well. Just in case. Not using it but giving it. Okay because we have. One more trainer here in this route. And she's gonna have a low tet as well. Or no, a, yeah, a six Sigun and a low tet or a C dot, I think. So I can't use Okay, so let's let's just go into Artemina again. Well, that's A okay. Again, we have to smog, hope we can poison it. That's our strategy at the moment. So no poison here. Does 3 HP with Tackle. He's gonna Growl again. That's A-OK. -okay. Use Growl all you want. We're hitting our Smogs. Very nicely. No Poison yet though. And there's the first miss. There's the Tackle. Okay, so if he crits us, we'll... 
Okay, no matter what, we have the orange berry. There we go. That's why I've. That's why I put the orange berry right there. Just a little safety fest for our slugma. Come on, slugma, you need to hit your sl your smocks. There you go, there's the potion, okay. How many smocks do we have? We have six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Pr I'm gonna yawn, so that way we don't lose PP on smock for the next Pokemon. Because poison will kill it off no matter what. And he can keep scrawling me because... You know, that's not gonna hurt us. So no way is not level six. Doesn't learn absorb yet, there's the shroomish. So... Shroomish can't hit us with Absorb, because it's not very effective. Smog is super effective, if we can hit it. He does have Tackle though, but... It's not Stab. So this should actually do a decent amount of damage. Okay, um... I am walking a dangerous road here. Okay. And the reason why I didn't switch out is because, and I hope this is the case... Come on, we need to hit Smog! How much does this tackle do? Two. So even the next one won't kill me. Okay, there we go. No matter what. Because I think this will give us enough experience to reach level eight. Right? No, not. Uh, that sucks. Uh, there's an item here, so let's grab it. It's a potion. Really? The last patch of grass? It's a worm pull. I would have loved the Wurmple, by the way. I love Beautify. I've love I love using Beautify. I've used Beautify in my like in a playthrough of Pokemon Diamond. But that's a different generation. But I don't mind you I, I didn't mind using like a um a Beautify again or a Dust Dox. Okay, we healed up our Pokemon. Um I am gonna keep the Pokemons that we have now in our team. Uh Sammy at this point is just dead father. <laughs> Uh, so let's do the whole, like, oh my dad, can you help Wally catch a Pokemon? So we're gonna just skip this. We're close to 40 minutes now. So, we have about 20 to 25 minutes left before we hit the one hour mark. But so far, not gonna work, everything is going well. And I really, really, really want to uh, reach Rustboro uh, for ending this episode off. Uh, and maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Would you love to see hour-long episodes for any future projects or just Nuzlocke's alone? Because I'm not going to live stream. I'm not a live streamer. I've said that in a few episodes, I think, and like on Twitter maybe a few times. Like, I'm not a live streamer. I, it's not in my blood to live stream. I did it in the past and I don't hate it, but I just don't have the attention spam and the charisma to actually live stream. I rather much just sit down behind my desk, click record, and just record a bunch of videos, edit them out, put them on YouTube for people to enjoy, and that's my way of entertaining people. I'm not a live streamer. It's... Again, I don't hate it, and... I will maybe do some live streams in the future if possible, but I'm not a live streamer by blood. And I'm not gonna regularly live stream because I just don't feel comfortable doing it. I think that's the best way to say it. But who knows, maybe what the future gives us, who knows, maybe it will happen at some point. But we have a new route here, Route 104. Now I know there's a Sentru here. Because I did that in my test run. So, if we could add Sandshrew to the team, that would be great. Oh, wait! We need to buy Pokeballs. Because we're low on Pokeballs right now. So let's actually do that first. <laughs> Ooh, almost made the uh, rookie mistake of not having too many Pokeballs. There we go. Let's buy 10 of them. There you go. And a Premier Ball. Alright, now we can actually encounter a Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, give us something good. Give us something good. Come on, come on. Is there any Pokemon here? There we go. So our encounter in this route is Sentru. Nice! Very nice! 
Alright, so I'm just gonna click Astonish, Scratch. Uh, that's... I mean, defensively essential is great. Again, it's not gonna help us out. There we go, that's a critical hit. Uh, who has the better defense? Eight, six, Slugma. So we have to go into Slugma here. To take these hits. Okay, we're gonna yawn it. To put it asleep. Uh, I'm just gonna try to throw a Pokeball right now on it. Because maybe we can catch it. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. We didn't even have to put it asleep then. So, Sandshrew has been added. Um, Sandshrew, let's name it after... Let's do Kofi Kingston, so let's call it Kofi. First, first name that came into my mind. Alright, let's take a look at our Sandshrew. Our Sandshrew... Calm na- that's bad. Calm nature is bad. Because, let me... I think Calm Nature is bad, doesn't it? Up defense, but lower special defense. So, Calm Nature, let me actually look this up. So, Nature's... And let's... Lowest attack and, low, uh, and up special defense, if I believe. So that's a very bad nature. That's a very bad nature for Sandshrew. So... <sighs> this pains me to do it. I love Sandshrew. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, if not my favorite Pokemon, together with Sandslash. I even have a tattoo of Sandshrew on my arm. <sighs> but with that nature, Sandshrew is not going to do that much. So we have to put it in the PC, sadly. There we go. Because it's not going to do that much. It's not going to do that much. Alright, so back to the wild Pokemon or wild trainers battles. There we go. Try to avoid me, eh, you little youngster? How dare you? So six a gun. There's no way. We can't hit it with no way. Um, so again, we have to go into Tamina then. Growl all you want, that's A-OK -okay by me. Tail Whip is a problem though. Especially if we're gonna miss our attacks. Come on, poison it, poison it, poison it, poison it. There we go, okay. So what we're gonna do now is I am gonna switch out back into No Way. Tackle. And then we're just gonna switch back out into Tamina so that the Tail Whips are gone. There we go, so now he can't hit us anymore. And keep on growling, it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't hurt me at all. Alright, nice. Okay, there's the first Tail Whip again. And we're gonna miss, so he's gonna probably Tail Whip then again. No, he's just gonna tackle. That did 5 HP. And there's another Tail Whip. So we might have to switch out after this. Alright. C dot. I might stay in then. Oh no! Please poison. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um... That can actually do a lot. My, can we take one? I'm gonna. I'm no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call in. I'm gonna go into Sammy. And I'm just gonna growl. Unleashed energy. This might kill. Ooh. All right. So he might actually go for another bite. So I'm just gonna go back into Tamina then. And he's gonna go for the Harden. I know it outspeeds, so I'm gonna go for Yawn. Because if he wants to bite again, that is a problem. So at this point, I'm just gonna let the poison kill it slowly. Okay, Grout. That is not going to do you do much, because you don't have any special attacking moves at this point. 
Why doesn't he go for the bite right now? Oh, there's the bite. I thought so. Like a last resort kind of thing, right? And there you go. Down goes the C dot. Sammy's now level 3. Samina is now level 8. And we learned Amber. Hell yeah. Alright, I need to heal up my Pokemon again. We have 15 minutes left before we run out of time for this episode. It's stressful. This is a little bit stressful than usual. But it's okay. I'm confident with the team that we have. And now that we have Amber, you know, we're gonna actually take out a few Pokemons much sooner. So he has, I think, a level 9 magic card that just bounces. So we can just keep in no way and we can just astonish. So this is gonna take a moment. Yeah. This is actually gonna take a few while. But I want I want Lotet to get all the experience here. Because I think Lotet gets absorb at level 7. And that's gonna help us out a lot in the next gym. In the first gym. So I really thought that would have been the first death. Like Sammy would have just been like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take the bite hit and I'm dead. But um, he took it like a champ, so Wingle reserves, deserves my respect there. All right, there we go. And now Norway is level seven and we learned Absorb. Hell yeah. And Okay, oh, okay. So. Let me get the Oran Berries. I can skip. I could skip this trainer. But I do want it for the experience. So. He has, he has a level 9 Sixagon. Or level 7 Sixagon. One of the two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give. My Oran Berry to no way. And I'm gonna give this Oran Berry. To Tamina. And we're just gonna battle him. We're just gonna battle her. Level 7, okay. So, we're on par. And let me actually put Absorb at front. Okay, Tail Whip is... Annoying. How much will this Absorb do? Oh, that actually did quite a lot. That actually also did quite a lot. We are gonna get some HP back. Okay, how much does the Tackle do? Okay, that did... Eight. And we're gonna get the Oran Berry right now. Okay, so even a crit now doesn't kill. He missed. Okay, nice. So we're... There's the full restore. That's the most annoying part. Um, what I could do right now is just growl it. Okay, he's gonna Tail Whip. So I'm gonna growl it. I'm gonna growl it on one another time. One more time. Okay, and now we can actually absorb it. He's gonna growl me, that's a-okay. So we should be fine now. Growl all you want. This is fine. This is fine. There's a tackle. Only does 3 HP now. So even a crit, even a triple crit won't kill if there was triple tri crits in the game. So six Sigun goes down and we're now level 8. You love to see that. Okay. Now we can get an encounter in Petalburg Woods. I am gonna put... I'm gonna put Corbin up front to actually damage it. So give me my Petalburg Woods encounter. Fernet. That's not bad. Holy shit, that was a crit. Take it easy. Okay, I have to go into Tamina. I think an Ember won't kill at this point, even though we're Mother's Nature. It's a Fernet. Foresight? Okay. Yeah, we should be... F 
we should be good by embering it once. Unless we get a crit, then it kills, probably. No, it just straight up kills. <laughs> I underestimated Fennet here. Alright, my pedal Burk. Woods encounter is gone. Uh, we have 10 minutes left on the clock. We might be able to make it to... Petalburg or Rustboro City. Hopip. Oh, I'm glad... Well, looking at the nature of my Centru, I'm not that happy. I rather than have Hopip because that could have, could have given us a little bit of extra coverage against the gym. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do now is... We're gonna leave off with... I think we're gonna leave off with Slugma in Pedalburg Woods. Yeah. I think that helps. Okay. Nice. Oh. That's the annoying part of using a speed up button sometimes. I'm only using speed up button to backtrack where I need it to be. So. There we go. So let's put Slugma up in front. So Slugma can also get some training done. Because Slugman and Lotet so far are our important Pokemon to have. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Amber here. And because we're modest, we're gonna run through these trainers here. Having a modest Slugma is going to help us out a lot though with Amber. So again, it's not gonna help us out in the gym. But with these trainer battles, look at this. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, get this Pokeball. Again, last patch of grass. Oh, I would have loved Spinarak. Would have loved Spinarak on my team. Paralyze heal. Alright, nice. Now, for this Team Aqua battle, I want to put Lotet up front of the team again. Because I think it just has a Puchena from Team Aqua, yeah. So we should be fine here. Ooh, can we make it to Rustboro City within 8 minutes? 7 minutes? Puchena, level 9! Oh, actually, that might not be that. Okay, I'm gonna growl once. Yeah, because of that. Because of Howl. There we go. Okay, sand attack. Okay, that's that's a problem. I think... Come on, hit, hit Absorb once so I can actually see how much this do. Okay, nice. Tekka does 5. So, a crit would put us at 10 HP. 12 HP now. He's gonna send attack again. That's fine. At this point, this is actually going to help us out. Send attack again. Like, howling. Look, howling is a problem. And we now miss. Another Howl. I'm playing Devil's Advocate here. Yeah, I'm now in a point where I need to hit my Absorbs. There we go. This might not kill though. It did, okay. But look. No Way Lotat is now level 9. Hell yeah. Yeah, give me the Great Ball and bugger off. There we go, okay. So now I'm gonna put Slugma back into the front of the team. Because now we can just keep on using our um, embers. Ninkada. Ninkada has some good defenses though. Nah, never mind. <laughs> and load, and uh, Ninkada gives us a lot of experience. So I'm actually going to take this to get the experience that we need. There we go. 
Alright. Get this Pokeball, which is an Eater, which can be useful. And we're in the next route, but this is also Route 104, where we cut our Sentro, so we can get an encounter here. Uh, what we do can get is Bullet Seed. Which, I'm not gonna teach to Lotet, because Lotet has Absorb, so I'm gonna... Um, Preserve the Bullet Seed TM for another Pokemon we can get in the future. Uh, I am gonna give an Orange Berry to No Way. And I'm gonna keep this Orange Berry in the bag for now. We're gonna get the items that are in here. Which are a Potion, a Pokeball, and I think a Paralyze Heal. Oh look, another Sanctuary. Bet you this Sanctuary is like Adamant or Bolt Nature. And we got a super potion. Nice. That's what we want. So we have three more battles to go. Uh, this one has a six second of level seven as well. So that should be no problem. Because now we can just keep absorbing. Till whip is a problem, but we're never level nine now. We should be fine. Okay, this six second has a pretty good defense. And that was 7 HP of tackle damage. Okay. A crit should not kill me. Still. Now the question is... Yeah, a crit will now... No, we have the Orange Barrier. Okay. Haha! -ha! There's the full restore. It's fine. Like, if they can use full restores against me, I can use an Orange Berry on my low tab. <laughs> okay, tackle. Yeah, that was a crit. And that's my crit. Okay, t from 22 to 8. That's 16 HP, so a crit will kill against my... So, I'm not gonna take that risk here. So, I'm gonna go into Tamina then. Watch him crit me right now. Okay. It's okay then. I'm not gonna take that risk. Alright. Nice. So now we're gonna put... Uh, Slugma back in the party for this trainer here who has an... I think she has a Shroomish. A Lotet and a Shroomish. Okay, um, Lotus can do anything against me, so we can smog here, hope we can hit, and we can. Look at that damage, can we get the poison? No poison. So now I can just use Ember. Level 10. Shroomish, yes, stay in. And use Ember. And there you go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at us being... Teaming up. Alright. So now, um... Yeah, okay. I can lead up with Lotet and Shroomis. Now I'm gonna use this Orange Berry that I had left over to heal up. No way Lotet to almost at full. So we can battle against this trainer, which is going to be a double battle. Who has a Lotet and a C dot. So, and... Easily, we can just Ember the C dot and we can absorb the low tat. I think that crit didn't matter. Okay. Growl, growl's fine. Growl all you want. So, Ember, absorb. And there you go. No way, is now level 10. They're both level 10. Look at this, see? We're equally training our Pokemon right now. And I can put Lota now in front of the team. Against this dude who has a lot of Magikarp. And that would be the last trainer before we are in Rustboro City. And then we made it. We do have four Absorbs. But we should be able to kill all these Magikarps here. So this is just free experience for Lotad at this point. And we also have another encounter in the next episode. We have a lot of trainers to do in the next episode. We have two encounters, I believe, in the next episode. We have a lot of trainer battles to do in the next episode. And then we should be fine 
for Roxanne's gym. And there we go. Player defeated Fisherman Ivan. Uh, this woman gives me some berries, so let's do that. You never know when you need some. And let's get the item in here. X event. I said it in the beginning. I said it in the beginning. We don't use that here. Toss that away. We're not even going to make money out of it. We're just going to toss those items away. We're not going to use them. So. A little bit of a detour, but... Here we are. Our episode done. We made it to Rustboro City in the first episode. Which I'm very happy with. Uh, we have a party of... Um, for now, we missed only one encounter, which was Fedinet. Uh, we have a low 10, level 10, Slugma level 10. Uh, Sammy and Corbin are a little bit behind. So, they're kind of dead fodder at this point. Uh, so, in the next episode... I am going to save here. In the next episode, we will get a few more encounters. Train up our Pokemon before our gym batch. And then have our gym match. And then after that, if we have time left, we will try to make it to Dewford Town. And see what we can do there. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share this video with others, slash the subscribe button down below, and hit the bell icon. Because then you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I sincerely appreciate it. But with that, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.